Hi folks, it's the author and to see nurse here. I hope you're all well. I for one am enjoying some sunshine. Uh, today's earrings, if you tune in weekly, you'll know that I have different earrings every week and I like to share those with you. They are just a little quirk in my personality. I like weird and unusual earrings. So these earrings this week are super cute. Uh, they are cheetahs. I hope you can see them really well because they are just beautiful. Uh, they are porcelain and their gorgeous tails go right around my ears. Uh, and I absolutely love them. They are made by the same people actually who um, made my ceramic foxes that I wore in a few videos ago. They don't get an outing too often because obviously they're a little bit delicate. And if you tune into my video just for the first minute when I talk about my earrings, please like and subscribe anyway. I super appreciate it before I go on to the book stuff, uh, which I'm going to do just now. So I want to talk about continuity in writing a series and how hard that is. Um, even simple little things that you don't even think about. So when I started to do the sort of prep, like edit prep um, for Sally in the Woods book two, um, I got my notes back from the editor. There were so many times when I realised I changed something or oh, my editor realized I changed something in book one, like the name of a cafe. Um, and I had forgotten to make that change when I did my rewrite in book two. Uh, so what I started to do was keep a series Bible. Uh, and what that is really actually is a fancy name for an Excel spreadsheet. And I highly recommend this. So if you're thinking about writing a uh, series, then definitely get this set up from the get-go because I wish I had got it set up when I wrote book one um then I wouldn't have to go back and <laughs> fill in the gaps but it's super helpful and I'm finding the more I get into the books the more I'm starting to to need to dip into that to remind myself of bits and pieces you think that you're going to remember because when you are deep in writing that book you think how am I ever going to forget all the little details of this book because this book is so important and I'm so into it but you do because you move on to the next story and that next story is so important and you're so into that and that introduces new characters, some of which you'll keep, some of which will just be transient for the, the process of that one book. So Series Bible basically for me is a spreadsheet. I have um, a page which has all of the places which are going to be in constant use constantly there it has the names of all of the characters who they are where they feature in what books like how much they feature what they you know any changes any things that happen um and so those are my sort of like things that i update regularly for uh, new characters that maybe will become returning or recurring characters or any new places that get added in um and then i have a page for each book uh, and in that book, I have the lists, in that page, I have the list of all of the characters, who they are to each other, um, reminding myself of little details, which can be really handy because as you write a series, then the you need to refer back way more than you think you do. So to, to help kind of bond the series together, you do find yourself talking about previous cases or previous things and... Um, yeah, I needed to go back. So one of the classic mistakes I continue to make uh, and it drives me around the bend um, is that I made a change of surname to a character in book one. So there's a character called uh, Jimmy Murphy, Jerry, Jimmy Murray. See, there I go again. Jimmy Murray in um, book one. And he was originally called Jimmy Murphy, but I changed that. Um, and honestly, even in book three, I found like a couple of mentions and one of them was right and one of them was wrong. So you can sometimes be like, oh God, what was that character's surname? Or where is that place? And just flipping open the Excel spreadsheet to look at the series Bible just it saves so much time. So my top tip for writing a series is get your series Bible. Some people do it in a notebook that suits you then grand. And actually sometimes a notebook might be easier because I just got to flip to the page or write a little note but I have my own spreadsheet that's how I started it so I'm rolling with it um get it sorted out get yourself some organization because otherwise what you will inevitably do is have some incontinuities um because even though your editor has edited every book they're also going to be busy editing other people's books as well 
And so it'd be so easy for something like that to slip through the net. So easy for it to be like a little thing, which as a reader might jar. Um, so I do my absolute best to have none of those. I can't promise that I that I get it spot on all the time, but I would I would say that 99% of the time I'm getting it um, on point. So top writing tip for today is make sure if you're writing a series, you have a series Bible, you keep it updated with every character and book. It's gonna save you so much time. Um, if you are reading, then you can look out for those things where you know, look for those continuities. And if you're a writer, you know, it helps you no end. Have a lovely day, folks. As always, it's a pleasure that you join me. I, I love the fact that you support me this way. If you have liked this video, please, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it so much. Have a fabulous day. See you next time, folks.